Hi, this is Joel Kirshner with SCM Connections. Today I'm going to tell you a little about our new line of IBP integrated dashboards designed to streamline the most important information you need to make key business decisions. With hundreds of key figures, dozens of forecasting methods, and hordes of planning levels to consider, sometimes the important information that you need to make decisions can get lost in translation, and these dashboards can help you stay organized. Let's take a look at how they work. These dashboards couldn't be easier to use. Let's take a quick look at the possibilities offered through our Supply Resources dashboard. We start off from IPP's Excel add-in in the new Planning View from Template window. We've selected in this corner our dashboard, the Supply Resources dashboard, and that loads in all of the pre-configured settings for the template. That includes the time periods, which is currently set to the current, from the current week through the next four weeks, the planning levels and key figures that we desire in the dashboard, and any additional filters that you wish to apply for this analysis. Let's go ahead and click OK to load in the data. It's important to note that once the data is loaded into the planning view, you still must use this refresh button in order to update the charts as well. While the planning view data loads directly into the dashboard tab further down on the screen, as you see here, the charts themselves actually reference pivot tables on hidden tabs. The refresh button triggers those tables to refresh with the new planning view data. Once the tables are refreshed, we are free to use the slicer filters on the left side of the screen to apply filters quickly to the charts. These filters differ from the ones applied when loading the planning view because they are dynamic and directly filter upon the charts without changing the data loaded into the planning view, as you see here. With both of these options for filtering available, we recommend that users apply any filters that apply throughout the entire analysis to the entire planning view, while any variable planning attributes are filtered by the slicers. When interpreting these charts, it is incredibly important that you have a full understanding of the planning levels of the key figures in the charts. You may notice that some of these slicers do not change all three of the charts. For example, when we change the product ID, only the production receipts chart is impacted. This is because production receipts is the only key figure displayed that has product ID included in its base planning level. In, the, in this dashboard, all three charts feature key figures that are directly related to each other, but they all exist at different planning levels. It's important that key figures with different planning levels be kept on different charts so that we do not attempt to apply filters to key figures that have no real meaning for that level. SCM Connections is proud of this new user-friendly interface and its swift delivery of key summary information. This Supply Resources dashboard is one of several offered in each of our Demand, Supply, Inventory Optimization, and S&OP Spark packages. We hope that you are as excited as we are to start implementing for that, them for your business. Thanks for watching.